You ready? Ready. Okay. Today, we're gonna to be sharing our birth story. We're gonna start the birth story at, uh, I was 41 weeks pregnant. So that's 10 days over my due date. And I was feeling super ready to have this baby. She didn't like stairs. I didn't like standing. I, getting you out of <laughs> bed every morning, I, it was like, I just, good. <clears throat> I didn't like standing, I didn't like sitting, I didn't like walking, I didn't like people. Uh, <laughs> I really didn't like being pregnant anymore. Um, so, oh, our baby's up. Maybe we'll it's see fine. how it goes. Let's see how Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, okay. So I was super pregnant. I had a conversation with my midwife and said, what are my options? I think I'd like to be induced. This was at 40 weeks. And they said, sorry, our hospital is full like we don't have any space for for an induction so that was really great um but the next week they did have space and i scheduled an induction for 8 a.m on august 24th i was due on the 14th yeah i don't usually wake up that early <laughs> so we get in the car at like i don't know 7 30 and head towards the hospital but I would like to stop and get a pumpkin spice latte, some Sue's Feedy egg bites, and a pumpkin loaf. It's like the most expensive stuff in the world. So the, the eggs are this big. You get a dozen eggs for 79 cents. Don't judge me. These things are like $12. Don't judge me. Okay. So $12 and 20 minutes later, it took forever. Mm. We get to the hospital at 8.30 a.m. Yeah. I don't know who's late for their induction, but uh, we are. <laughs> she was late for giving birth, so it makes sense. Do you want to go get Wait, salmon? Yeah, uh, Do I need to pause it? Nah, keep going. Keep going? <laughs> uh, I'm back. Okay, keep going. Okay, keep going. <laughs> All right, so uh, we get to the hospital at 8.30 a.m., we get checked into the hospital and back to our room. Thankfully, we like skip triage and just go, get to go right back to a room. Um, and the midwife comes in a little bit later. I get hooked up to the IV and the blood pressure cuff and the baby monitor and the contraction monitor. And the midwife comes in and checks me and I'm four centimeters to start, which is really awesome. So I think, great, this will be like a quick process. Here we go. Um, it wasn't a quick process. Not at all. Not no. even a little. <laughs> so this is right, like this is at 8 a.m. So we're with this amazing nurse throughout the day. Uh, lunchtime comes around and Dan goes and gets Wendy's. Wendy's! It was delicious. They said, they, by the way, before I went to Wendy's, they said, don't eat anything. And Molly said, just sneak it in. Yeah. And so I'm a good husband, so I did it. I snuck it in. <laughs> So I got, what did I get? I got a spicy chicken sandwich, french fries, and a Coke. And it was delicious. It really was. Um, but technically I wasn't supposed to eat. Anyway, so I did eat lunch and then, hmm, I don't know, seven hours later. Seven hours later. A new nurse comes in. I am having contractions at this point. They're like, uh, I can feel them. You forgot to tell the, the last nurse, she showed us a video of her horses. And one of them was pregnant. Shh, I'm telling a story. And it was running towards the camera. It was hilarious. Pregnant horses are hilarious looking. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so that nurse was amazing. A new nurse comes in and she's equally amazing. And she is. She did this a lot. She is a dancing nurse. Her name was Annie, and she disclosed to me that she's also a little bit hippy dippy crunchy. Um, which I appreciated and she loved my, our music. My muse was playing in the background um, and she kept dancing and just like saying, I love this song, which was so nice to just be with somebody. I don't know. Uh, a kindred spirit. A kindred spirit, especially since I wasn't allowed to have a doula. It was nice to have an extra support person. Dan I was... did. I did take doula classes from a distance though because every time Molly taught an online class, I sat in this room and listen, then I repeated back to her everything she said. <laughs> he was really good. A great doodla, a great husband, um, a great support person. All throughout my labor, 
He was so sweet and so giddy and excited. Um, I was having a baby. I wanted to have a baby forever. Oh. Like it's ridiculous, but like for 30 years I wanted to be a dad. So this is, this and is still is very exciting for me. <laughs> um, with every contraction, I would go into a contraction and I would hold Dan's shirt and I would squeeze his shirt and I would say, "Ooh, it hurt really bad. Um, so shortly after Annie gets there, I start tossing around the idea of should I get an epidural, should I not get an epidural? And long story short, I made the decision to get an epidural. And it was pretty fantastic. It was a light epidural. I did ask for a light epidural. I asked, uh, I knew, okay, so at that point I was six centimeters and I knew that I was getting closer to delivery. Um, and so I wanted something that I could still feel to be able to push and not take away all the pain. And it didn't take away all the pain. With each contraction, I could still feel the con feel it on my left hand side. Um, a hot spot. It was a hot spot, yeah. yeah. Which I guess would be unfortunate and you could get more medicine, but I was like, I kind of enjoyed being able to still feel it and know that I was progressing and moving towards pushing. Um, so at some point in this process, Dan orders pizza so that we have pizza for dinner after the baby makes his debut. They said definitely don't eat again. <laughs> and no, I didn't eat that time though. <laughs> I, de I did. Yes, I decided to save the pizza for after he was born. Um, and around midnight, we started pushing. Um, oh, so I got the epidural and we t were supposed to rest a little bit and then um, the midwife we, came yeah. in. We tried to play cards, but oh, yeah. we didn't know the rules to the game. <laughs> we tried to play Euchre and then we were like, we don't know. Mm -mm. We need my grandma or something if we're gonna play this game. <laughs> um, so pushing at midnight and it was amazing. I could feel every amount of him coming down and Dan was by my side um, throughout and I had Annie there and the midwife and I think there was an extra nurse. Um, and they were all just like, this is so incredible. Um, and then he came out and he came out like super easily um, after just maybe 15 minutes of pushing. And it was way less gruesome than I thought it was gonna be. I was like prepared for like uh, Quentin Tarantino style bloodbath because everybody had told me how to how just absolutely disgusting birth is. And the nurse was like, do you wanna look at his head? And I was like, okay. And it wasn't bad at all, it wasn't that bad. I don't really wanna look at the pictures anymore, but um, <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was pretty okay. It's really neat. Yeah, it's really it's, neat. It's so it's, special. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> well, you're never going to see it again. It's such Thank a, goodness. Oh, stop it. <laughs> In the moment, it's really cool. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so now he's here. He's three weeks old. And he's pretty great. He's super cute. Um, I am breastfeeding. So that's super time consuming. And I feel bad because he is attached to me a lot of the time. Yes. Um, but Dan holds him a lot of the time too. And he likes when Dan sings to him and makes jokes, mostly for me. He likes my jokes more than most people, so that's nice. Um, and it's been pretty great. <laughs> watching Dan be a dad is awesome. <laughs> and watching my big kids, my three, I have three big kids. Mm -hmm love him and kiss him and want to hold him all the time. All the time. <laughs> Can I hold him? No. Can Not I hold every him? morning, knock on the door. Mom, mom, mom. And they just want to come and go, Oh, oh he's so, so cute. cute. And he is, so he is. I can't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's our birth story. We have pictures, we have videos. I'm willing to share more details with you if you have questions. Um, as a doula, I've supported so many women through childbirth. Um, I teach childbirth classes. I knew what I wanted. I knew that I wanted to laugh him out. I knew that I wanted this to be a happy and joyous experience. Um, and yes, birth is and can be painful. And yes, birth can be traumatic. 
um, but not always, and it doesn't have to be, um, and it, it can be a positive experience. It can bring couples closer together um, as you welcome new life into the world. And also there's no wrong way to do this. So I think a lot of people assumed that because I'm a doula that I wouldn't get an epidural or would wait until I was 43 weeks pregnant until he finally decided to come. No, no, I was so over it and so ready by 41 plus three. And I'm so grateful that Dan supported me no matter what. <laughs> so that's, that, that's it. That's Simon's birth story. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. <laughs>